this is a Japonia store and this store this Japonia store from Aliexpress was already involved in this crime uh, at least the people from Japonia store were involved in this crime already since year 2000 I'm certain when this store did not even exist anywhere uh, the biggest friend of this store was a nurse Yanko and psychiatrist cops they were the best of the best friends with with owners of this store here um, this store owners were nasty people they were not nice at all they were involved in what I refer to as a torture uh, and have assisted Slovenian police best of their abilities with the torture issues um, when I contacted them however through Aliexpress uh, they acted completely different with me I did purchase from them once uh, and I did purchase from them once and the items that came were defected uh, I however do not know whether it was uh, their items it was something that they sent me or was it that this items were switched upon arrival to Slovenia doesn't matter because it's exactly what I was demonstrating it's gonna be the case I did not order what you see right there uh, but it was psychiatrist Peter Kops and nurse Janko who had enormous gig about this thing also with the police investigators they would bring me this subject over and over and over again during MK Ultra. They brought me this subject, the subject of what you see here during MK Ultra, on at least hundred occasions during MK Ultra. This was for them the biggest gig. It was enormous slap. They, they got enormous satisfaction out of this. Do you know what the fuck this is? And I said year 2000. They had what you see here already in 2000. Claiming me that the Japanese love this kind of technology. They had this stuff, what you see right there, like this, beginning the 1998. And it was beginning the... That I gotta be very very careful with for a variety of reasons. Nineteen ninety five when I departed to United States of America and nurse Yanko was not even registered as a nurse yet. Nineteen ninety five that I was tied to the bed at home for elderly people where I would have Gregor Golovich Janus Kuchan personally psychiatrist Kapsch, police investigators and nurse Janko who acted completely insane he got enormous gig out of tying me to the bed suggesting me now we found you now we found you a match. It was a nurse Yanko who was at the time, who still at the time was a dentist. 
but they were going to reclassify him into the nurse, into the <clears throat> so that he could work at home for elderly people. Tied to the bed with also what they used were in Slovenian language they say Loparčki. Prisilni Loparčki. Um, this is a sort of racket on which palms um, you don't see it here but it's the stuff that's used that was used to uh, tie my palms on the on them so that stuff is uh, actually it's not tight it's what is it they make you wear this stuff or whatever the hell it is uh, extremely painful for your hands so that you would not hurt yourself this is what started in 1995 In 95, upon my departure to the United States of America, upon my departure to the United States of America, um, The record time they had me tied on the bed was one month. They used a feeding tubes, literally, to scratch my throat. Because it was not enough that a thirst, um, dehydration, which was used as a main weapon of torture, you would not get anything to drink. And then they would use the tubes that would insert in my mouth, uh, in my throat, through the nose, the feeding tubes. They would use them literally to scratch, to cause scratches on the throat. This is on exactly the same room where my father is now. Exactly on the same bed where my, where my father is now. And he became a major, major gig. Beginning in 1998, the Japanese royals that were becoming here. And they had a Seiko and stuff like that. Watches. Uh, maybe they didn't know anything about it. In front of them, they started to entertain with this kind of issue. So I'm not saying that this was already on the AliExpress or something like that. But it was, this is the stuff that was from Japan. And it was psychiatry scotch, it was nurse Yanko especially. Uh, this is a beast. This is, in, in one word, this is a beast. This is not a human being. It's a beast. I'm trying to recall a Hollywood actor name. That's uh, Jason Momoa, but it's his competition, and he's a good friend of Jason Momoa. 
It's not Jason Momoa, who was also involved in this stuff. It's, it's just his good, good friend. Uh, it's got a, such a weird name, like myself. Such a, such a impossible to remember the name. Um, now he's older than Jason. He is about my age. Uh, how old is this? Forty-five. I am fifty, almost fifty-three. I am. Not too far. In December, I'm going to be 53. Um, I mean, Nurse Yanko is... This is a beast. This is, this is not a fucking human being. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> um, He is extremely polite now, and over the course of the time he changed, but the pain he caused, the torture he got involved in, uh, is just something that doesn't even cross my mind I ever would let this guy get away with it. I mean, no, no fucking way. Yeah, the name I'm trying to find is is really um, If it's gonna, if, <clears throat> if it would come to me something, I would have to be, <sighs> look, <clears throat> it doesn't come to me, I'm gonna have to upgrade this stuff, definitely. And it's quite a shame, but I cannot remember that name. Um, I'm going to have to work more on that name. He, um, Let me see if I can get something. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, is is so much is so much written about this guy and uh, 
it just doesn't That's actually quite uh, crazy when I consider that. Those guys are actually excellent paid. Uh, I don't even know how the fuck they find themselves anywhere here, honestly. Uh, there is people that really sacrifice themselves, like the guy I'm going to demonstrate you right now, and end up with a lot of broken bones, I guess, injuries. Uh, they're listing here at the top the worst, I mean, the, those that get paid the most and made really, really profitable careers. Uh, but it's this one guy that really did not make much money for amount he invested into work, sacrifice, Well, they are demonstrating the most paid actors here that you can get. <clears throat> yeah, and I don't even get to see this, man. Well, this is, this is a tall guy. Uh... Which name I all whose name I also know, but right now it just doesn't come to me. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't. It's it's not even it's not even a weird name. There you go. That's his name. Dave Bautista. This one here. There you go. Fifty-five. He's actually two years older than myself. One ninety-four. 
110 kilos. Uh, he was not only involved in it, but he somewhat reminds of Nurse Yanko. Um, <clears throat> facially, it was Nurse Yanko, just like psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who follow up on him and demanded from him to make me see myself Yanko in him. I know this sounds a little bit screwed up, but if you want to really, really do everything you possibly can to get somebody killed, that's exactly the type of procedure you do. So you engage in a physical torture and you present someone on the other side of the ocean in the U.S. who is influencer and visible public person as also the one that is involved in it or maybe even blame on him as per him doing this stuff like that. You understand me what I'm saying? Yanko is a psychopath maniac. A big guy. A beast. Not in a sense of being sporty, strong, or something like that, but mania, mental, psychological disorders he has in his head. And so it was. However, this guy, as soon as he learned about Yanko, what Yanko is doing, he was doing this stuff. He was doing this stuff, a naughty stuff. He, he became an entertainer of it. But once he learned about the Yanko, what Yanko is doing, he no longer wanted to have anything to do with it. And he also told me that when talking about Yanko, that he would give me a green light if I go and I mention and call him out for this reason. Yanko, because this guy visited, Bautista visited our house, climbed in his pants, in his underwear, God knows how many times, did everything possible he could for Dave Bautista to see himself in Yanko. That's basically what we are talking about. This is exactly what we, what, what, we are now on the right page about what went on. 1995, when I left the United States of America. Nineteen ninety three, not nineteen ninety five, but nineteen ninety three. Nineteen ninety three. Uh nineteen ninety three, nineteen ninety four, before I left the United States of America, Milan Kuchan extremely excited inside of the room where my father is now. We found you a match. We found you a match, and I was tied to the bed with exactly this kind of rackets with this kind of rackets it was 1993 before I left the United States of America with the Gregor Golovich this individual laughing about it you know. that's basically Milan Kuchan crew funny because I see him so serious I see him he was doing everything possible later on to fix the image gesturing that he's on my side and so on and so forth uh, sorry man but uh, you crossed the red line so deeply and not only on this occasion uh, but so many other occasions that you were a major contributor to this violence you are Milan Kuchan, you did everything possible to get me killed, sir.
you are not somebody who would suppress this. Somebody who would... Obviously, man, you should report this crime to the police. And if you police did not act, you definitely should act by stopping at my place and talking to me about these things. And uh, you did everything possible you could for police to see themselves in you, representing Milan Kuchan. I did spoke about this guy. This is another Milan Kuchan. This is the main, what became a main Milan Kuchan. A main Milan Kuchan almost took away position from him because of his drug use. He started to use drugs. He became a drug addict. As Slovenia became independent, this guy found himself in a psychological turmoil. Major, the biggest crisis. He turned out to be a real loser. And he started to use my case extermination procedure against me genocide to build itself back on the picture piece by piece his emotional broken pieces shattered all over the place due to fall of yugoslavia greater serbian chetnik state he found a rescue solution in torture of me this is a today became slovenian prime minister robert golop demanded for me to see myself in what I am now and in him, how he's going to be growing, becoming bigger and bigger and more influential and so on. This is the real story about me. In the case of this Japanese uh, pointers, hands if you like, watch hands, This is just one issue, I'm saying, that was demonstrated to me during MK Ultra on the computers that police officers brought to the house on at least 100 occasions. With nobody more entertained about it than Nurse Yanko, who was a regular, frequent guest of our home with a psychiatrist cop. This is just one issue. So... It's not like this. Also, when you browse the internet, when you look for the things, psychiatrists make sure he would misinterpret through the real torture absolutely everything he possibly could. This is a, how can I explain? This is a record. I'll be fortunate enough to no doesn't want to do that ah fuck this enough of it
Maybe it's going to do it like this. It's not very... Yeah, this isn't going to do anything really. It's going to take too much time. I am just going to, for illustration purposes, demonstrate you what that looked like father was also given this thing this is extremely extremely important uh, case this issue here because of something completely also other issues that were involved that were involved in it so do need you to see this very 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 clearly to understand how this stuff operated how it works the hand comes like this And at top of the hand, there is also like a mesh, you know, that keeps you from having the ability to remove uh, your palm from uh from this uh, from this racket yes and uh, in this area here it's uh, it's a pentel not exactly like this but like from you know I'm just give, giving you um, an idea what what this is like yes yeah like this oh we can put this here for illustration purposes it's okay like the like this too like that we can do it like that why not okay okay so I don't know why it would not give me the chance to Yes, that's going once, going twice, and still doesn't want, really. And then I have a very, very big difficulty with this shit here. Now the difficulty is with this fucking computer, I think, Windows. Finally, it works, as you see, so that you cannot detach this thing of your palms. And I did found the palm like this 
to say to you that this is with the pockets it's with the pockets like this with the each finger um, each finger is placed in a pocket yeah? this is one pocket and this one is another pocket so that there's nothing you can do you cannot take this thing off Prisilno sredstvo Prisilno sredstvo is not only a jacket in which they put you inside but also what you see here tied to the bed with exactly what you see right there is how it was a feeding tubes through the nose inserted dehydrated the pain of the dehydration in the throat is impossible to describe due to what became even scratching of the throat for one month at a time painful uh, impossible to describe limitless joy pleasure for the fuck of it torture this is a stuff that went on in Slovenia since 1993 supervised by the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch by this individual here that you see Robert Golob on behalf of Milan Kuchan with Nurse Janko occasionally involved in it he was not there all the time but at times he did he seemed to me like he was doing an intern and I don't really know what was this guy in 1993 was he already had done his nursing or whatever the fuck he was done he was a, he's a dental nurse who then pre-qualified into uh, elderly care, care for uh, elderly in, in intensive care department. He got his university, I understand, that's what I was told, also. Which he lied about, claiming that he did this uh, with a job, um, that he went on to continue the education uh, like in afternoons uh, next to the job that he held and other versions suggested that he finished his university uh, a degree university to become a dental nurse whatever so this is how they do it they did not want they they call that a schizophrenia that's a schizophrenia because if you're gonna say that he did that he was there i was not there i was doing something else i did not even have this kind of qualifications yet i was in a different field of uh, medical field etc 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 it couldn't even be that he's lying that's what they call a schizophrenia. It's about the same thing like you would have a lady coming to the police station and reporting the rape. And the police would say to her, listen lady, it's all in your head. You are a schizophrenic. Let's say that you go and you report some politician who used the police, by the way, to rape you. Well, in Slovenia, this is a normal procedure. This is what Slovenia is, even in 2024. Couldn't say it better than that. Could not explain better than that. This is the guy, this is the individual who took all the pride, all the honor to liberate himself Kleshche from the pliers of the drugs, he became a drug addict, this individual, drogadito. The failure, the fail, the loss of the Yugoslavia caused him enormous psychological harm. And this, this little Führer, this little Hitler from Milosevic that we have here inside of the, this little Serbian, this little Putin, 
is what became a Slovenian prime minister. This is a Slovenian prime minister. Next to Tanya Fajon, foreign minister and so on. Now I know who this guy is. I know what this guy is. I know where he's coming from. These are the charges that I am laying against the Slovenian state, against the Slovenian police, against the Slovenian judiciary, against the Slovenian Supreme Court. Maybe the scum even thinks that I don't know what I'm watching, what I'm going to over the internet or something like that. But they're wrong. Chinese schizophrenia, the Chinese communist, the communist Chinese schizophrenia operated so uh, it can be seen but I do have a beautiful video about it. I'm gonna demonstrate. If you enter in AliExpress Seiko and then you're gonna get what you see here. You guys have washes like this. But this one was not. It's it was not this one. This is the thing. It looked uh, very similar to that one. That's like 330 euros watch. This watch was involved in MK Ultra. This is the watch that Slovenian psychiatrist Peter Kaps and Chinese Communist Party played with it already since Since 2010, what you see right there is what the Chinese Communist Party and this communist also this communist here. This is a communist, these are all the communists, Milan Kuchan and so on. That's what they claimed that they are communist. Yeah. They play with the schizophrenia with this schizophrenia here already since 2010. They played with this schizophrenia here that you see. This one here that you see. They played with this schizophrenia here. Since 2003. Since 2003. This watch came to pieces very, very slowly. And it was then misrepresented to me through the what is known as a mark. Like if you go to the forest, In Slovenia, I have a video about it. I'm going to release. There you go. This this kind of stuff. Psychiatrist Peter Kopp started to claim it was his idea to create the watch like this and so on. Uh, however, that happened in 2010. And this watch was in the picture already since 2003. Bear in mind that this watch, this watch here, 
Hej. Barely was released. In 2021, I understand. 2021, but I was on the picture already since 2003, since I was taken to the Adriatic coast, even 2002. And it was Gejo, the Serb here, local Serb, who was at the Adriatic Sea also. He was crazy about Seiko watches and stuff like that. And they made me wear this watch to see what kind of impression would it make on the people and so on. That's why I you know since 2002, since 2003, this watch here, finally released in 2021, that's a Chinese communist schizophrenia. That's how the schizophrenia works. This is a copy of the watch from the Queen guitarist, Brian. Brian May. Who designed one personally by himself. That's why I said they started to play with this stuff since 2010. Which was kind of weird. Because Brian had this kind of design for the watch. According to my memory. He presented one already some, since like 2004. 2006, 2004 is when he came up with this concept, 2004, I would say. The deadliest watch, which, however, you cannot see here. In exactly according to MK Ultra Brainwash, I will present you one on the next video for which Chinese Communist Party have even made uh, a discrimination case. This is the watch here that you see. Discrimination case you're going to see in the next video so that you're going to see how this shit triggers. This stuff here, this stuff here was involved in MKUltra since 2010. And excuse me, I am mistaken, very, very mistaken about it. This, this here was involved in MK Ultra since 2006, this watch. With police investigators taking me to the Adriatic Sea, where they started to pose with this watch, uh, completely insane about it, claiming me, giving me all kinds of MK Ultra brainwash stories about how this is the best watch and so on. This is how they get you. They, the first thing what they do is they throw you a bait. And they started to compare their watch with whatever you have with other watches that you, according to them, have claimed they are good and they are 
and so on. And they started to prove you that you are wrong, that you are absolutely wrong. This is how it all starts with an MK Ultra. It's like arguing with a drunk or something like that. Except that they are the drunk. Except that they act like a drunk. And they make you, because you have no ability to escape, liberate yourself from the clutches of the physical violence, listen and watch. And after years of torture, if not months or days, even negotiate with them. Because they don't give up. This is MK Ultra. MK Ultra is a Guantanamo violence. This is a Guantanamo. You understand? This is a Guantanamo. This is a definition of the violence, of the physical violence. The mama of the thought of the violence is MK Ultra procedure. You have nowhere to escape, you got nothing to do. You are left to your own devices, they can kill you at any time and they continue to physically injure you and push you, sicken you to listen certain issues whether you like it or not. That's what this is. That's a MK Ultra. It's a description of MK Ultra. 2006. I think this watch came out in 2000 and maybe 2024. I have no fucking idea. When did they release this watch? Who knows? Then the people from internal interior ministry, such as Alish Hoyes, became involved in it. And they started to claim me, all kinds of stories. The police started to complain about that they confiscated the watches they ordered from the China because it's a Seiko and it's not a real Seiko. This watch was, went at a discounted rate of just 20 euros. when they first launched one in 2024 and I just happened to have witnessed that stuff and video recorded it and Alish Hoy, internal minister previous who also was employed a good time in Belgrade made claims that if I would order the watch for 20 euros that he would have to consider one as a luxury product and impose special taxes on one. He started to argue. It's a bestial torture, I'm going to repeat. About this issue in 2010. And did not stop arguing with the same argument, repeating it over and over and over till about 2016. You are going to be fucking insane whether you like it or not when you go into the MK Ultra, And it's your word against their word. And the rapist is the top politician. And the crime is enforced by the law enforcement. That's the nature of my case. And it's not one politician. But it's a global politic involving it with a Vladimir Putin. With a Serbian Chetniks such as Alexander Vucic. Sheshel. British royals, now King Charles, in it. Doing exactly the same thing, giving a full support to this. Causing even more problems in demanding from me given the ultimatum to the schizophrenia with words, repeated the words to me depend on how you're going to see it depend on how you're going to see it that's a British royal, a British royal, a Prince Andrew and King Charles it's always about depend on how you're going to see it while giving a full support for the genocide to Putin, full extermination procedure Depend on how you're going to see it. 
That's how they operate. Depend on how you're going to see it. It can be like this or it can be like that. Finally, I repeatedly was told if you're going to order this watch, what's going to happen is the watch is not going to come. And even involving discrimination procedure against me, what you're about to see on the next video, so that I would swallow the bait and started to talk about how this watch was already released in 2006. The police had one in their hands and so on. They make you debates the way they do this stuff. Hey, the Chinese Communist Party, you are fucking scum. You're fucking scum. You're worse than Adolf Hitler. You're definitely not what you claim to be. I don't see anything humane about your Communist Party. I don't see anything humane about you. You are beasts. I know you. I know you better than anybody knows you. The violence defines the communism. The violence defines the Communist Party. This individual here defines the Communist Party. This is the Communist Party, this here. When I see this here, it always reminds me of what the communism is when I see this stuff here. When I see this, this is a definition of the communism. They did come up with a scenario that watch will be gone. And the only thing that will be left for me would be this. And or this here. This. But the other watch that I demonstrated you from the Seiko, this one here, for which I indicated a strong like, would not be anymore available. Meaning that Chinese Communist Party push forward extermination procedure through the blacklisting, through the forced unemployment. It means that the communist communists were addicted to the forced unemployment issue extermination procedures with a forced unemployment. They targeted financially my budget, knowing that I would not have the money, that I would be looking to buy low-end, the cheapest products, while absolutely annihilating, destroying me, anything I would order came broken, destroyed. It will have to purchase from China to avoid costs from Slovenia. British royals, King Charles paid a lot of money to the communists in China for this procedure. He built factories over there. They mutually started to build this type of communisma capitalisma, if you like. The communist capitalism elite society. A different kind of society for the sake of the better, more normal world. He paid them to get the merchandise destroyed, damaged. He was the one who took me to Viktor Orban, to Hungary, to sicken me with delivery of the watches to Slovenia, through the Hungary. He was the one who covered up for Slovenian police, for this communista here that you see here. He did everything possible he could to protect this communist here in crime against me. He promoted crime. The postal crime was idea of the British royals. It was a total boost, the support they, they gave. It was the Prince Charles, now King Charles, who wanted me to prove some kind of plot, conspiracies and stuff like this. Something that immediately alarmed me, that sent me alarm. Chill down bones, as explained, about his financial whereabouts with me, on how he wanted me to see the case as rating me as incompetent, demanding from me to prove that I'm normal and worthy of the money. So he turned to the communists for help. And yes, this is yet another story. The watch did go up 
the price it no longer is. But in the next segment, it really made me believe the Chinese actually even discriminated against me. The thing is, it became signaled from the Chinese side, from the sellers of this watch, started to insist me that, just like the police, that if you're going to order this watch, they would confiscate me because it's a Seiko and it's not a real Seiko. So what the communists wanted from me is to confiscate also more money. That was yet another scenario they did. They just waited for that stuff to arrive to Slovenia and do another theft. That's how they operate. So I thought that this would be uh, extremely, extremely important for me to point out how with the type of the people, how this operated, how this stuff works, what this stuff was all about, uh, the nature of the problem itself, what kind of government people, what exactly we're dealing with, you know. What is powering this, the so-called successful people? It is characteristic for the paranoids, for the schizophrenic to be envious of the successful people. So I am just a mentally ill shadow of the man that you see right there, because this is a good friend of the Ursula von der Leyen, of all the European autocrats. Frau Angela Merkel, he was very, very accepted by the Emmanuel Macron and others from the European Union. He became a very, very, very promoted signore in the exiler of the Western world. So then he became a prominent uh, member of the United Nations and of the European Union Security Council even, <laughs> and so on. Huh? Now you probably understand, scum, why is it that I don't like you in Brussels and in Strasbourg? As you see, the Slovenian communist government operates extremely efficiently and is eating the European Union within. Demonstrated you how it can penetrate in every pore of your life and start to decay, erode one spiral one into the people that are socially and economically disadvantaged and mentally sicken them for the purposes of the Marxism. Hey, we're going to record this stuff here. This is, I am logged into account, as you see it right here, you see, this is my account. As a matter of fact, let's go in and see my orders. This is existing account. This is all the stuff that was purchased. A lot of stuff I purchased from here. A lot. And uh, this is the reality, basically. This is the way this stuff works. Let me demonstrate to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it like this. We're going to enter Seiko. And I am going to increase the size of this window so that you can clearly see what I enter. And then we get this here. And when you type here to set this according to the price, you're going to get exactly this type of setting here. You get exactly what you see here. And you don't get absolutely anything you otherwise would get if the Chinese Communist Party would not know precisely who is browsing and using their AliExpress option. Nobody else is doing this stuff than Chinese Communist Party from China. They're doing this stuff here. You have to blacklist, and this shit happened to me so many times before, with even stolen watches and stuff, with the Slovenian side, they arranged that stuff would not arrive that was paid, they arranged that the broken stuff was instead delivered, 
and they are making sure that the stuff that is good for others that was rated as highly desirable during MK Ultra would not appear under any of my accounts. So as soon as I log into my account under AliExpress, it's a totally different picture. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to Google this stuff one more time, just so you get to see it. So that, that's not going to be any conspiracies. Just so you get to see it. You get Seiko, and these are the options that you get under my account. That's all you get. It's not the watch I'm looking for. It's not the watch I admired all day long. But this is how they make sales. You take either you take this or you don't get anything at all. This is the way they operate. The watch I'm looking for is in a price range of 20, what is it, 20 euros. And for that matter, I have to go to another browser like this one here. And I'll go ahead and what I will do is I will just enter here Seiko. I'm going to increase this window so that you can see this is a bigger window. I was uh, kind of stupid to log myself in it. Let's go to 110 like this. I did. I did log myself. Let me demonstrate to you. I did log myself through here. But it's a different account. And so actually I wonder if it's going to appear the stuff I'm looking for. Immediately you see totally different setting. You see this? Immediately you see different options appearing on the, on the desktop. Immediately you see different. As one of the options, you also get to see this here, this option here. I was looking forward to. See it? Well, the Chinese Communist Party always makes sure that I always got whatever they agreed with the Slovenian communists, with the communists from Ljubljana, with the Milan Kuchan, with the communist Peter Kaps, with the communists from the Novomesto police station. The only, th the only assortment that I get to choose from AliExpress, if purchasing from my account, is the assortment they made an arrangement with Beijing, Ljubljana, Beijing, Ljubljana, Belgrade, Ljubljana, Moscow, Beijing, Belgrade, Beijing. That's it. That's all there is. They make sure, they make bloody sure that you would not get to see this. So this is the case proven. This is not about artificial intelligence. This is not about um, based on your taste or anything like this. This is about something other. It's about other issues that are involving this stuff. You get to see a completely different picture if you're not in, in logged into your account and or you're logged into an account that they are not familiarized with. With the account, I am logged in here in a mic. This is a Microsoft Edge I'm using and the other one is Oprah browser. What happens is I have never purchased anything yet here. No orders. Please switch account or feedback. So it's really, really easy for me to just go here or I log myself. I just clear all the cookies, everything out so that there is no trace about who I am, where am I coming from. Then I go and I browse and I have a real experience, basically experience that you have when browsing the AliExpress. So this is, you must agree with me, racism, discrimination. We're going to repeat this so that you get to see this clearly one more time. This clearly goes into the category of the racism of discrimination and it's not artificial intelligence. It is, in a sense it is. The artificial intelligence makes sure that you will not get anywhere near the stuff that you otherwise you would get. If you, you know, 
if you would not be politically labeled basically hey you see it it's here look it's here you are not gonna see it when I when I switch to the Oprah browser you're not gonna see any of it So this is pretty fucked up. Now, I am not in particular interested in targeting communists, but communists are a poor excuse in this world. Why is that I think that communists are a poor excuse in this world? Foremost, because it was all kinds of people involved in my case. Some of the people involved in my case also, it was all kinds of people. Some were Nazis and fascists and all kinds of stuff out there. The thing is, however, that they didn't make Communist Party look any better. Because it was the job of the Communist Party to make sure that things would not happen. And instead, this Communists, the only thing they did is they escalated the stuff. And they continue to sicken me with the stuff I had nothing to do with. So they could profit from within, so they could, I guess, portray themselves as a legitimate party and so on. When in fact they are more racist and hateful, intolerant, than the party they claim for is a Nazi and fascist and I don't know what. They produce fascists. They produce Nazis. I know. This is why I know they are up to no good. They saw bad people around me. And what do you think they did? They escalated the stuff. So I'm going to go. I'm going to switch now to the Oprah browser. Again, this is the Oprah browser. Let me make sure that 125. Can we do it? Yeah, why not? And I'm going to click again here. I'm going to click again here. We're going to do this one here. And we're going to do this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch down. So this is the account that I demonstrated you where I already purchased. So I keep scrolling down like this. So this is, this is where things go completely wrong. In every aspect. Hey, they fuck me so badly that you have no idea. The watch I paid, I ordered, it was never delivered to me. It was like this with all, with all other issues as well. And the only thing that happens is they push in your face other issues that are not so desirable during MKUltra and they rape you. Literally, they rape you with the issues that are not desirable under MKUltra till, as you have no choice other, you commit yourself to the purchase and steal the options for which you commit yourself to additional purchasing if they are good options if they are worthy something they still are not um, delivered to you they are still not offered to you uh, at the doorsteps if they are delivered to you they are damaged and so it goes until you, you settle you purchase the literally total junk total garbage and that junk then is delivered to you. This is how they work. So instead of buying one watch, you end up buying yourself 50 watches. Instead of buying what, one telephone pouch, you, you end up buying 50 telephone pouches. And it's all kinds of garbage you end up talking about and so on. Um, this is disturbing because I wasted a lot of time so that you get to you see it you see this is the this is what you get I waste a lot of time to educate myself I'm not doing this stuff like this I'm doing this stuff also to educate myself to see stuff and it pisses me off at the end of the day that I actually see that they have me literally blunder like in an aquarium like I'm locked in a fucking aquarium and like a fish, like an aquarium fish swimming inside of the fucking space. I think personally that AliExpress should be penalized for this, even taken off the internet, if you ask me. Because this is a blatant racism. Discrimination is what this is. If you prove the stuff like this for eBay, there'll be 
a closure possible even of the eBay. Chinese made a deal with Americans uh, and Americans would not sell me through the eBay I was informed uh, that they did all kinds of problems to me when purchasing from the eBay uh, and they demanded from me during MK Archer to purchase from AliExpress and so on and another one who made a deal with the Chinese were British from London so you know I'm just a small person and uh, when I see myself on this kind of picture why don't you people ask yourself you know what the fuck is going on I mean moral or not moral uh, this is a total decay of the state trust in the state that's why you see so many people homeless lodging under the bridges it's a sickness that plunders entire country country after country so yeah I mean sure if you if you click this you get to see this if I repeat to you you get to see this stuff here they offer you a Navy Force they offer you um, Austin whatever mostly get navy force they, they they rape you with the navy force a lot you get to see these are fake seiko washes uh but it doesn't matter when you enter seiko uh boba bird you get you get the boba bird here oh look a bob of birds you get this is what the fuck you get Oh, I think this shit is angry. I, I, I feel that that people that this people in AliExpress, this people in Beijing, I think they're angry. They're fucking angry. They're very angry. Angry birds. I think they're angry. Why the fuck are you so mad? Why do you do this to the people? This is going straight to the internet for the people to see what this communist Chinese new China uh, has in stack for us what a future would look like gonna take a date and time we're here at already 45 euro range I'm gonna do it like this and this is one thing I haven't done is uh, oh we can do this again this is a this is a Microsoft Edge and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this one here and it starts with a really low-end cheap watches I do not recommend anybody uh, but then it goes up and it starts with the Seiko everything is about Seiko just like this everything is Seiko uh, actually it's a Navy Force right there too I don't like the idea about doing this to people. I don't, I cannot agree with it. Uh, this is, you know, this is a blatant, blatant, blatant racism, blatant discrimination, blatant. Totally, totally blatant stuff. This fucking blatant saying somebody, no, you are not allowed to have it. You will not. You must this. You must that. Can I have this? No. Can I have that? No. Can I have that? No. You must have this. But why I must have this? You must this. You must this. This is the way it was during MK Ultra. This is the way it was. This internet, intranet, AliExpress is not controlled by Slovenian side, nor is controlled by the British side, nor is controlled by American side. This is controlled by the China, Chinese government.
I don't have anything else I would say to you. Maybe I can present you with the browsers. Actually, what I can do is we can do this. We can do that. We can clear this so that you get to see this stuff here. And we're going to do it like this. So that you really get the taste. You really get to see what's going on because this is really, I mean, definitely is worth it. Um, Definitely is it interesting, interesting stuff. So let's do this stuff again. Reject cookies. So as you see, I'm not signed in, but you're gonna see the same thing. The same thing as you have seen earlier. It's actually productive. It gives you the options of the Seiko, fake Seiko, whatever the fuck it is. And I just like that. I don't like being restrained like that. I don't like being choked by somebody saying, hey, you will this, and that's it. Huh? Let's go, and we're going to set this accordingly with this here, and then you get to see it basically the same thing that you have seen earlier. Look at it. It's right here, the watch I was looking for. So you get totally other options, and it's actually a lot of options for less money. Look at it. It goes in, in all in category of the Seiko, under the Seiko. And so, <laughs> yeah, that really sucks. I don't like the idea about uh, like this being uh, watched over what the fuck I do and what I'm allowed to think and what I'm allowed not to think. There you go. Here comes again. The same thing. Sucks, man. Blatant racism. I very much regret this to say this about the Chinese. It's very, very regretful. There is even nations. I would prefer to say this. I'm going to say to you... I prefer would see this coming from the British. I prefer would see this coming from Americans. But it's not. It's coming from Chinese. Why I would prefer to see that? Because I'm American citizen also. I am also American citizen. Next to Slovenia, I'm also American citizen. And so you did, st you did very, very bad stuff to me. Stuff that really you're not allowed. You're not authorized. You've, you raped your constitution and your bill of rights. Whatever you had. You cheated. You lied. You classify that under some kind of cancel culture when in fact it goes straight to your in employment, equal employment opportunity commission and stuff like that issues, which implemented this stuff against me together with the Chinese, whom you lambast, communist. You know, whatever you the fuck you say about the communists is not worth it shit. But at my program, you actually get to see stuff. Real time, you actually get to see what it looks like. So I am entitled to say that, but you are not. The individual uh, who became extremely close to the Robert Doctor is a Doctor Robert Golop. Um, believe it or crazy not, was a son of Joe Biden. His name is a Hunter. Hunter Bunter? No. Hunter... Hunter Biden. And, uh... He shares a common passion with a Slovenian doctor, Slovenian Prime Minister, Dr. Robert Golob. Uh, a chug is his passion. Drogadito. He too claimed me for his psychological problems that had caused him ruin his life. The drugs to be the ultimate solution. These are very, very, very close, dear to Robert Golob heart, friend of Robert Golob, right there. Son from Joe Biden, Hunter Biden. I don't give a fuck what you guys think about the Joe Biden. But for me, Joe Biden is a Che Guevara, a modern days Robin Hood that does the communism throughout the United States of America with his 
Chinese and Slovenian comrades for the sake of the better world. I am not going to go into it is been a lot said about Hunter Biden is drug habits so I would not go into the area visited numerous times here and became extremely close with Robert Golob I think Robert Golob gave him his philosophy of life and Hunter have just seen himself in Robert well finally the Thai king Mahabharinga Lakorn was not the only Chinese Communist Party sympathizer we have more uh, and these uncles do share a common interests with one another. Now, if, you know, call it whichever you want, I am disgusted to see it. And it's not about him, it's about his entire family. They couldn't stand me. I understand I bother them and even proclaim me as the most dangerous guy to be around with uh, but the facts about the schizophrenia can be seen on this program only but it can be seen and this issue is extremely important because of my father is present situation at home for elderly people because it goes to demonstrate the toxicity of the nature of MK Ultra of the people not MK Ultra the people involved in it itself just how far those people are willing to go to get their interests in this case schizophrenia realized it appears to be limitless there are no borders There are no why, if, maybe, there's just no, there's just one way, one world. Zich Heil, Heil Putin, Zich Heil, Heil Xi Jinping, Zich Heil Communist Party, Zich Heil Prince Charles, Zich Heil Obama. Biden, Kamala, etc., 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 right? One vision, one world, the same shit like a Hitler. Totalitarianism, communism, now in the heart of the United States of America and throughout the Europe. This is what we have. There are no limits to it because psychiatry gets done at all. It's got a very, very profound meaning for me, this stuff here. It's got a very, very profound meaning. The owner of this company who was involved, probably I would say since 1995, thanks to Xi Jinping, is how he started the company in China, dreamed about how he's going to fuck me. He was a good friend of the Robert Golob, a very, very good friend of the Robert Golob. And so I would suggest the Japanese to remove this name Yapona even though they give a good service to the Chinese people the background of this store is about something completely else 
and I would also suggest Japanese, of course also to the US government and to the British government and to the French and to the German government to address AliExpress, I should say, Chinese Communist Party with the schizophrenia issues because Chinese Communist Party has a deep communist schizophrenia problem. There is more to answer about this. It goes to the shipping mailing and it goes beyond shipping mailing. It goes to show how somebody's life can be deleted how somebody could be exterminated under the lights of the democracy in the heart of the Europe with American citizenship even. That's the nature of this video. So you got to see both stories. You got to see all kinds of stories they involve in it, they Im embedded, implemented, and how long it even took to realize these things. The guy who opened this store, this Yapona store, who was involved since 94, if not 90, 95 or 94, and finally opened the store uh, something like in 98, 99, 2000, something like that. He dreamed about this here. The brand that Yapona store represents, the real brand that Yapona store represents, is this here. This here is what they present. Loparčki. This here, in Slovenian language, you say Loparčik. And it was also placed on my father's hands, also palms, when I visited one. It goes to show us the difference between the young man as I was in 93, when first time I was tied to the bed with the beast that you see right there at a home for elderly people. It might have been even in 1992, not even in 1993, when Milan Kuchan started with this procedure. At the home for elderly people in Novomesto, where Milan Kuchan would deliver me since my childhood, to become part of the elements, part of something normal, because the person that is subject ongoingly to the ex extermination, to the genocide, will not discern between the normal and abnormal anymore if abnormal is inserted in his life all the time. That's also how my parents acted to me. They acted in a such a way so that I no longer would even understand what is normal and unnormal. But normal was not acceptable for me because it would land me in the jail. The think of the normal would destroy me imminently. That's why this video is so essential to me. That's why this video is so important to me. That's why this video for me alone is a such an eye opener. Is a such an eye opener. That's why this video for me is a, such an eye-opener. That's why this video is so important for me. The man on the father's bed, as well as mine, could be myself. But he could never find himself in my situation because it took a hell of a lot for me to get through and get it done. Nobody in the world could have this done other than myself. Nobody in the world could possibly even dream about getting it done like myself. In this case, if the job is not done entirely, you've caused much greater damage than any good. It's better, really, that you don't even make it. That's basically how they thought. For their ass, for their sake. But that's also the way I thought about it. That's why I have done it so successfully.
in an image of God with a total perfection pointing out about who did how they did why they did now you know what the schizophrenia is in today's world what makes the schizophrenia what the schizophrenia is the last one who was giving me a complete breakdown of the watch that you see right there was a Nova Mesto police director Igor Jurcic who was totally impressed taken over by this watch here that you see and that was 2015 and in 2015 I don't think this watch was released yet This is this individual here who went on to impregnate the lady in Miami. He impregnated some Latina, Spanish, Hispanic lady in Miami and was opposed to myself for unzipping his dick on her, impregnating her during the hijacking to United States of America rated by Americans even as a worthy person by some Americans that disappeared of the political picture right now I cannot find them I, I gotta go over that stuff and see Trump era administration and see Obama administration and go over and pinpoint the people that were involved in this suggested me even they would give him American citizenship because opposed to myself at least he left something a sign that he was in America that's how they translated me in this house here Americans during their visits how it was so he would he would get his citizenship American citizenship just for unzipping a dick from his pants and they were laughing about it and making stuff about this it was so entertaining so funny to them so but it's almost 53 of my 53 years of life that I lost and there's a whole herds of people worried about their future worried about my case stressed out and would do just anything in this world to prove the schizophrenia I don't have anything else I would say about this video. It goes to show how far they are willing to commit themselves to prove something that doesn't exist. But this doesn't go anymore in a distance to prove how far they are willing to go to prove something that doesn't exist. But the commitment, the willingness to genocide, to extermination, to what they call a new world order to what they call a better and more just world to what they call as world of equality where killing people is just a sport it's not a big deal. It's not even a big fucking deal. They refer to this now as a cancel culture in America. I don't know who invented that term cancel culture. 
but this is definitely not the case of Mr. Lemon, who talks about the cancel culture with, I think, four million per year income, something like this, as he was fired from the CNN, but so much involved in this extermination procedure. Of course, it can be like this, and it can be like that. But if it's going to be like this, it could be like this, and it could be like that, then it's going to be a lot of more people in the United States of America. They're going to be killed, and also throughout the Europe. And then for anything different from it could be like this, and it could be like that, will be too late. 